We're doing another classic with this one right here. This right here, um, we had it before once already, but this is new items we tried. Have you tried it before? I've had this before. Oh, okay. But this is just something we've done a long time, but this was in the pre stage of no. Yeah. Before we even had a name, we were doing this. Yeah, exactly. And um, they're called, they call it Ni. Ni Amor? Ni Amor, yeah, Ni Amor, uh, Hawaiian Polynesian barbecue. Yeah. It's located in the Bronx of Um So, you want to tell them what we got? Yeah, so I got the Polynesian meatballs, beef meatballs, so if you don't like pork, you know, they got meat, beef meatballs. Then I got the chicken, and every meal comes with a side of rice and a side of uh, macaroni salad. And then I also got the plum ice cream right here. We both got desserts, but he's gonna tell you what happened to his. Yeah, so I got the uh, Sunday. It's ice cream, so you know it was going to melt. So I want to like get the you know real taste of it. Yeah. But yeah, it was really good. <laughs> you want to tell him what you told him what you had in that? What here? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Plum ice cream. Yeah. Okay, so mine was ice cream, coconut. Oh, that's what you meant. Graham crackers, pineapple, and um, chocolate syrup. Yeah, this one, I didn't know that's what you meant. This is just a uh, plum ice cream with pineapple and coconut. Yeah. Let's get that. Okay, so. Tell them what you got right there. Yeah. Okay. So I got um, the seafood combo. I got the shrimp, barbecue chicken, and they gave me two sauces. And like you said, they all come with rice and macaroni salad. Just dig in, I guess. We both got different things this time. The meatballs taste like IKEA meatballs. And people used to fight over those IKEA meatballs before they thought they before they found out they were horse meat. But these aren't horse meat, it's beef. Hey, you fun this shit. Now he drilled that ice cream. He drilled that jump. Mm -hmm. You got the chicken first? Mm -hmm. This almost tastes like dirt chicken. Mm -hmm. The way it's cooked, I ain't gonna lie. Very chocolatey, like a chocolatey. I like that. Um, right now, I'm tasting everything plain, but I'm gonna put the sauce with it. But right now, the rice up is pretty good. Pretty good. It just reminds me of like a cookout. You know what I mean? First bite of the rice, very dry, um, like starchy, but I guess that's why they give you this sauce. Mm -hmm. um, it's always been a problem there. It's the dry, dry rice. rice. But I mean, it's good, but it's something to fill you up. Yes. You know, not a lot of flavor. It's not like it has salt and pepper on it, but if you wanna, you can do all that by yourself. They got salt and pepper in the uh, utensil roll that you can put on it. Or just, you know, add the sauce that they give you. Hey, no cap, because it gave you a lot of rice. Make that to fried rice. If you want to go they all fried, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to do that. That's possible. But they should do that. That might be bust. Is fried rice, like, I know it's Asian, but is that something, like, you think they do in Hawaii? Do you know? That's a good question. They might have pineapple fried rice. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. It's pretty good. You think they fried that back there, like hand breaded it and hand fried it? Yeah, them two kids that came out. Hey, so you're saying they have child labor there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That must be spent a lot. They're teaching their kids how to work hard at a young age, which is good. Yeah, exactly. And how to put their foot in food. Yeah. Because we've seen, the first time we went there in the summer, we actually saw her put her foot in the food. Yeah, we've seen it. Yeah, for real. The lady who cooked it, she put her whole foot in it. She was actually flipping the grill with her foot. Yeah. No spatula, just straight foot. It was crazy. Never seen that one before. And I was going to say, uh, I like this sauce right here. Do you have two sauces? No, I only got one. But what are, can you, you explain to me? What is it? Soy sauce? I thought it was soy sauce, but it's almost like teriyaki sauce. Mm. The ginger. And this is, we both have the same sauce right here. But Polynesian? Yeah, spicy. It's almost like spicy Polynesian. 
can put a little bit on the right if you so. Okay, that's like a plank thing. Yeah, try to add that. Tell me what you think. I'm going to dip this one in the pound That went from no flavor to, I don't even know how to describe it. It's crazy, isn't it? I feel like Buzz Lightyear right now. No cap. I ain't gonna lie, like, this is almost like, it's, it's like, it is the meal, the sauce. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is just the stuff, the add-ons. Nah, that's actually a crazy flavor. It's like you said, teriyaki flavor, so it's sweet, salty, uninami. I think it's uninami flavor. I don't know, I, I'm probably saying that wrong, but unami. But I always thought everything. That's how I did it. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I, before we started recording, I said, like, if a girl put uh, coconut oil on her coup, I would eat it her out for like three hours, but if she put that on her coup, I don't know when. Stop. Yeah. That's facts. Yeah. I'm trying to shrimp now. This might. This might hear. This might hear my maybe beat off in the bathroom. This might be the new sea moss. Like, he was playing piano, and he's like, here, put these on. That's this song. Yeah. And uh, he's just falling in space and shit. That's how I feel. Nah, man. That's crazy. So we had a similar reaction. So you feel like you're Arthur, and I feel like Buzz Lightyear, Infinity and Beyond. We're both in space right now, though. We're both in space, yeah. That's crazy. What are you thinking of this macaroni salad? It's better than the first time. Than the I'll first say time? that. What do you think? Um, There's so much you can't do better, though. You know what I'm thinking? I like the mayonnaise on it. You know, I feel like mm -hmm. they make a whole bunch of this and just put it in the fridge. Yeah. Actually, she uh has it right beside her on the right. The right side of her. Mm -hmm. The gas register. Um, yeah, they do that. But I'm not a big potato salad. I mean, macaroni salad guy, but I will eat this all the time. If this is at a cookout, I, I make sure to get this. Mm -hmm. This is good. We should almost treat this like it's cookout food. Um... Like a Honolulu, what is it? A uh, luau? Mm -hmm. This is luau food, which you eat with your family. That's very true, yeah. I'm gonna try the Polynesian sauce with the macaroni salad. See, see where I go with that one. That's crazy. So the teriyaki sauce is taking me to space. This one is taking me to Moana when they were fighting that crab. Underwater, just like seeing the treasures of life. Like not, not fighting the crab part specifically but just underwater seeing mosaic art and singing songs that's what that's where i'm going with this one. Oh, oh my god that's crazy you want some more of this okay i might uh i, I know you might go ahead and drill it go ahead and drill it I might have four like you drilled that ice cream yeah, man. hey that ice cream did not stand up chance i wish i might ask for two of these next time i go a lot when you drizzle on here like this Adds a different type of, I guess, aesthetic to the food. See, look, when I drizzle up, when I drizzle up on the food, look how it looks now. It's catching the light so perfectly. So perfectly. And I'm going to do this with this one. Let's see what happens. And also, these sauces that we're eating, they sell them in bottle form, but every time I go there, I ask, and they say, yeah, I'm sorry, we don't have any. They're lying. They no, don't want to sell it. They sold out every time. Oh, that's true. Every time they get a shipment from their family in Hawaii, they, I think they just, they sell instantly. People get the word. They Ooh. know if they sold everything, they wouldn't have enough of their food. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like the nice kicks notification you get to enter a raffle. I think I'm good to start the review whenever you are. I'm good. 
I'm going seven. You want me to try that? Try that? Yeah. yeah. Let's get the dessert real quick. So again, this is plum and uh, ice cream with pineapples and coconut. It tastes like vanilla, not really fruity, but... Is there ice cream in it? Mm. I thought it was going to be fruit ice cream. Oh, I see. But there's also salt in here, I forgot to say that too. Some light red salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there a price of your meal? Mine was $15 for this big plate, though. This is two meals right here. And ice cream. Mm. So, without the meal, it's probably like $10, $11. Without the ice cream, I mean. Because mm -hmm. I think that was $3. And then you add tax to all of that. Yeah. How much was yours? 17 with this, but by itself, 12. And that was a, that was a deluxe, because that had everything on it. Yeah, it had yeah, ice yeah. cream, what? Whipped cream, nuts, cherries, chocolate. Graham crackers. Graham, graham crackers, yeah. yeah. I, I told you, it tastes like a, uh, it tastes like a whole wine, I mean, a Spanish fried ice cream. That's what exactly what it tastes like. Because I thought it was fried. I thought it was like a fried ice cream type of thing. So it was just grand crackers. Okay, now into the review. Right. First up, will this get you haters? Yeah, I feel like um, this is something that you post on Instagram. You know the Instagram page is like one gotta go. You post, post the four plates. Mm -hmm. This is the one that people are arguing like, no, you gotta keep this in there. The, the other one's gotta go, you know what I mean? But some people be like, this gotta go though, you know what I mean? I think, I'm a, okay, I'm gonna disagree with what you just said, just because this is wine food. Most of the, when you, when you see those Instagram posts, they're usually it's dedicated great. to black people. Yeah. And like, you see a lot of macaroni, cheese, macaroni and cheese, fried chicken, some sausages, maybe some pork, whatever. And that stuff's good in its own. But like, if you actually know, this is like a, a Van Gogh painting. You know what I mean? To some people, that's ugly. But if you know what art is, you're like, that's a Van Gogh right there. Wow, the other one that you just described, that's like, you know, just a good picture. It's a good picture, but it looks nice, but it's not a Van Gogh. Well, uh, Mona Lisa. Yeah, or it's a Mo Mona Lisa. Something overrated? Like huh? Overrated? This is overrated? Yeah, I'm talking about the other ones. Um, like yeah. Mona Lisa overrated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, yeah, this will be the first one to go then because it's dedicated to that kind of audience. Yeah, exactly. So you get haters from a certain race, I feel like. I think, like. I think the haters that you are get, getting from is you take a picture of this food and you say, uh, like, in Hawaii, bitches, and people are believing you. But really, you're in Elon, North Carolina. Yeah. Like, hey, get your paper up, not your uh, funny up. Something like that. If you post a picture like that, they're like, oh, you're in Hawaii right now? At Hawaii type location. Yeah. And I was gonna say, um, when you looked at the people around sitting there, what was it mostly? It was mostly it was almost every race. And I feel like it was between them and this other place that's always open. They're, they're so like I think they closed second to the latest. I think the other place closed at nine. But the other place is good. I'm sure we'll do a review on them eventually, but everybody was at this place. Yeah, everybody was at this place. Like, their seating had to, like, go on to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. And, yeah. And I feel like people gatekeep this place. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not going to tell you. If, they, if you know about this place, you're not telling people. Yeah. And also, they have menu items that consistently sell out, too. I'll add that, too. Yeah, always selling out. Like, the chicken you try to get. Yeah, chicken masubi. I was going to show you guys that because that one's crazy. But will it get you haters? I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. Correct. Yeah, I, I said eight. I said eight. Just because if you add that factor where you say like, yeah, and why you paradise? It's boosting it up. You know what I mean? And everybody loves this food. Like you said, every race was here. No, every race. Together eating. We, we, you can 
you tell the people not next to them, the that police probably was like, ah. they probably calling them names and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're jealous of their success. Mm-hmm. But they're cooking as a family. One thing about this place, everybody in their family works there, from the mom to the little the youngest daughter. Mm-hmm. You see them all there all the time. It's a family establishment. They got Moana working there. Yeah, Moana is in the back. Mm-hmm. She's cooking with, I, I can't even say it on TV. But she, the mom cooks with her feet. Moana is cooking with. Yeah. I can't say that. If you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Over the grill with it. Crazy. Just imagine what she's doing in the back with the grill. Cause I, like I said, I can't say it. You just gotta imagine. Yeah, you just gotta imagine with it. That's crazy. It's, it's not. It's real. It's reality. Yeah. And they, man, them when them kids came out from the back, started doing some crazy stuff. They were busting the food. They were doing a ritual. In oh, the front. That makes sense. Walk around the playground and just do a ritual. Mm-hmm. To bust the food. Makes sense. That shit makes sense. Next up, what does make your chia pet, bro? No. No. No, actually, the macaroni salad will. The chicken, it will. It's a good, like, you know, it's a good source for it. Uh-huh. The rice, actually, overall, with my, with, except the fried shrimp, yeah, it would. How about you? And most of the places are like this. Mm-hmm. Um, when I answer this question, I usually think to myself, like, if I ate this every day, what would I look like? I would look like a Samoan. And what does that mean? I'm picking up joints and slamming them, like, doing crazy things. And that's a good thing. So I would say this would definitely make your chia pack grow. There, for one, there is no... Are you uncircumcised? Uh, huh? Are you uncircumcised? Uh, right now, I'm circumcised, but... I keep become uncircumcised. <laughs> With this, if you eat this every day, you'll be uncircumcised. I thought I was thinking because, like, they're uncircumcised over there. Yeah. I, I think if you eat this every day, you'll fully develop in the culture. And, I, yeah, I'll grow s- some skin back that doesn't grow back. Mm. That's true. That's because of sauce. Yeah. That's very true. And um, the sauces. Yeah. It's like almost like a, a sea moss mixed with a actual ganda. You love sea moss. Hey, I've never took sea moss in my life, too. If I took that, oh, God. I heard the the, the benefits of it. But anyways, um, that's almost like what I think what it would be to do to your body, you know, what the sauce is doing to me right now. Um, if you want to be in an avatar state, the sauce will help you get there. Because think about it. Being an islander like them, they're rooted in a lot of uh, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Think about it. You turn into Moana. Um, or Maui. Maui, yeah. Maui. What other stuff they, they, they eat? You oh, could yeah. be like the penguin from um, Surf's Up. Crush. I think that was his name. You'd be like Crush the Turtle. You'd be like all these people, all these cartoon characters. Your life would be an animated movie. Yeah, true. And, and I was gonna say, uh, you ever see that short film Disney where the two islands are singing to, to each other? Mm. It's pretty nice. But you'd be that. You'd be an island. An unmovable object. An unmovable object. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll take the ooze that they took in it. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No. Oh, the ooze in uh, Ant Man. And wasps. This is literally the ooze. Oh, so you'll be able to understand languages. Yeah. So pretty much, last time we said, oh, last time you said this, we got in trouble. So I don't want to use certain terms, but from one book that we all know, they talked about speaking in tongues. You're saying if you eat this, you'll start speaking in tongues. Yeah, this is uh, what they, man, look, I, I'm going to say a few words. This is what they interpret. This is what they meant to interpret. In that book. In that book, when they say that they, that, okay, uh, should I say that, but he, or him, or they, okay, when they said he turned water into wine, he 
turned water into Polynesian, Polynesian sauce. sauce. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's crazy. I don't know how to say it because you know because we got flagged last time. Water to Polynesian sauce. Are you drinking it at the bottle, like? Turn yeah, because like it's a it's it's a, some type of thing that make you speak in tongues, like you said. You probably already you probably guys already know what we're talking about too. So we have to say what it is. I mean, sometimes we got speaking uh, code words just because. They want to see us shine. Yeah, they don't. They want to hide art at its like, purest form. Like they don't watch the videos. They just have some type of buy that buy, buy, buy just that gets key words. Yeah, but it's cool. But um, I'm saying this is a nine out of ten for what this make your shit that grow. I'm gonna give it a ten. Almost just because the sauce, for real. Yeah, it's on equivalent with sea moss. I never took sea moss before either. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm trying to put the whole thing in the same. <laughs> you gotta bite it. I ain't gonna lie, this is lately like jerk chicken. Almost like beef jerky, how chewy it is. Yeah, it has a lot of charcoal on it, which is like nice. flavored charcoal. Yeah, it's, it's original. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, the next thing. Um, will this get you girls? Will this get you that woman? Will, it, will it get you that Zendaya? Um, yes, I feel like today eats this. When she was back at home in Oakland, I feel like she home, she ate something like this almost every day. No, and then she turned vegan. I don't think she did. Like, like well, she when she she's always been a skinny girl, right? True. I she, see Zendaya. She's Jamaican. Jamaican. Okay. But I see Zendaya at the ten. What would you give Zendaya? Oh yeah, her. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. A lot of people's problem with Zendaya is that she's a skinny person. I mean, I don't care. I like that. That's true. They say she's but too skinny. Too skinny. She's like body of a boy. Whatever. That doesn't affect me. I, Zendaya, if you ever see this, I don't care. Um, but if Zendaya ate this every day, mm-hmm. she would go from 11 to a 15. She'll 16, be my bad. She'll be yeah, dope. she'd be 16. Okay. I guess um, her mom's side got to her too much. Cause she would be a 16. She should let her dad show what she was eating, I guess. Because her dad is Jamaican. And they eat something similar to this. You know what I mean? So yeah, she, that's true. So they don't eat this every day just because her mother. I'm going on her mother. Yeah. But I feel like if you introduce this as a day, she'll love you for that. And if you can get a day, you can literally get any girl in the world. Nah, because... Zendaya, she's very, yeah, you get any girl in the world. Cause you said, yeah, actually, you know, I got Zendaya off of this food. Yeah. And they're like, oh my God. You know what I mean? People, girls try to be, you know, a certain person. You know, it could be the Haley Beavers, the Selena Gomez, the Zendayas of the world. But, you know, if you tell them that you, you, you got a girl just from this type of food, they're going to love you. Yeah, you're definitely pulling everything off. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, cause how you get to a person's heart? Food, food. Don't get a vegan. So what are you writing this at? As? I ain't gonna lie, I didn't see no girls there. I mean, no, actually, I seen at the store, at the restaurant, I seen one girl, and one couple. So it we does can... work for certain people. So I guess so. this is also like a hidden place. It's a hidden place, yeah. I guess I give it an eight, almost a seven, just cause like, it's like, um, is that, how come that's not a chain restaurant? They're, they're gonna think that, why well, you not taking me to Ruth Chris? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they not, may, may not appreciate what you're trying to give them. You know what I mean? So, at first I feel like it'll be a hard time to make them eat here. I'm trying to think. Nah, this is a 10. This will mm-hmm. definitely get you. Uh, once they get in the percent, yeah, I feel like once they try to the food, it'll get you a 10. For sure. I think pictures alone will get you a 10. They don't have no pictures, though. True, true. They have, well, once you're at the front door, you can see pictures. Oh, so you don't take them there. Well, yeah. they see a homeless person. So this is there's always a homeless person asking for money when you get there. So that might be a turn off for certain, some people. I'm surprised we didn't get one today. Well, I'm going to say this. If you're 
you're gonna be, if you're a guy taking a girl there, you got and she's like, mm, I don't know. You just gotta, hey, come on. You don't know what you're talking about. Just be a little forceful. Don't be rude. Don't be mean, but be a little bit forceful. She'll appreciate it later. Yeah. You, you, uh, taking her here will get you points, but being a little forceful to get her to a great spot will get you even more points. Yeah, that's true. She'll be like, I, I didn't trust you at the beginning, and now she's gonna start trusting you. Sure. Exactly. That's very true. Yeah. So I'm get, this one. I'm gonna give a ten on this one. I like this one. Yeah, like that. And I'm drilling this whole meal. Yeah, I, I was gonna save it later just so. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> he said I'm not. Cause I don't eat breakfast. You know what I mean? This could be breakfast. Yeah. You know I mean? I'll eat this shit right now. Though. All of this. I'm drilling the whole thing. I don't care. Yeah. He's actually drilling the whole thing. And they give them extra meatballs. Yeah. All right. So overall, what would you get this? I this mean, is the closest thing to uh, grill lunch that we I've seen so far. Hey, Westside Gun said, uh, he said something along, along the lines of, he, he's the closest thing to God you've ever seen. This is the closest thing to grill lunch you've ever seen. That is crazy. I agree, just because. Um, and grill lunch is that level. The reason why it's not there is because the rice. But you got this right here. If they give you a whole bottle of this, mm -hmm. it'd be 11. But it like, might surpass real much. It might. That's why they need to. Uh, they need to go in the lab, make the kids write up a plan or something, or go back to Hawaii, and get the rest, new recipe for the rice. Cause like, think about.